Let's get started with the hardware for Arctic 710. Just to reiterate, we are going to look at the LEDs and switches in this particular exercise. Let's start by turning on the board. You should see the LEDs glow on the bottom of the platform board. Now, going to your computer, the first thing that you would need is a PuTTY session. If you don't have PuTTY already, you can go to Google and download PuTTY by just typing in PuTTY download. The first link opens up the package files. Make sure to match the version with your computer. If you're a Mac user, then you do not need PuTTY. You can just open up a terminal and get started. I already have PuTTY. However, I'm going to open Device Manager to identify the COM port number associated with the Arctic board. In this case, it's COM96. An important note, when you connect your board for the first time, it takes a while for the drivers to get installed. So please be a little patient. It takes about a minute to five minutes, depending on the firewall, for the drivers to get installed. Following is the PuTTY configuration terminal. Set the speed correctly to a baud rate of 115200 and serial line COM 96 as shown by the device manager. And let's open a session. As mentioned before, once the board is turned on, we need to press the boot switch and hold till you see the red LED. Correspondingly on your terminal, you'll see the boot sequence show up. Let's wait patiently for this to complete. The login prompt has arrived, and I'm going to type in the login, which is root, password, which is also root. Currently on Arctic 710 and 530, and the high-end modules like 520 and 1020 as well, we have Fedora. It's a Linux-based system, so it should be very easy to use if you're familiar with Linux. Eventually, we're going to migrate to Ubuntu, but we're going to make that transition as transparent as possible to our end users. But for now, let's use it as a Linux system. I'm already in the root directory. And for today's purpose, we have some labs to guide us through. I'm going to start with lab number one, which is getting started with the Arctic Dev Board. We have covered a majority part of this by getting to know the board itself. I'm going to fast forward to the section that allows us to access the hardware. 